trucks, a truck carrying propane and epoxy going up in flames around six this morning on Dyer Avenue in Eastchester. The flames are so intense that number five train service was stopped for a while. Eyewitness News reporter Marcus Solis is live at the scene there. Marcus, wow, look. And Charlene, the headline here is that there were no injuries, but man, is their property damaged? These cars are not just totaled. They have been incinerated after that truck in the background there caught fire, a truck that was loaded with flammable, dangerous materials. Video from Citizen App shows the intensity of the flames, a raging inferno fueled by chemicals on a work truck that spread quickly, engulfing several parked cars, three of them belonging to Sydney Gunley. They started spreading so quickly. The fluids, the flammable fluids started coming out, running down the sidewalk, started catching all the cars on fire. And then we couldn't do anything about it. All I could do was just stand there and watch. Newscopter 7 was above the scene on Dyer Avenue. The fire, which started around 5.30, melted the siding of a nearby house and temporarily suspended subway service to what is the final stop on the number 5 line. The truck that burst into flames is registered to Statewide Striping Corporation, a company that specializes in custom painting using epoxies. The truck also contained propane tanks. The nature of the materials meant firefighters could not simply use water to put out the flames. Four hose lines total, which is pretty unique, and one of the hose lines happened to be a foam hose line, which we use for flammable liquids due to the epoxy, which doesn't get done very often. So it was pretty unique, uh, unique fire. Well, subway, sub, sub, subway service has resumed here. Off in the distance, you can see those Con Ed vehicles. Power is cut to some of the homes in this area as the investigation continues. It is believed this was all perhaps caused by an electrical issue with that truck. We're live in the